मी यशोधन काळे कोऑर्डिनेटर नेट्स प्रोग्राम आपल्याला आता साऊंड या प्रकरणासंबंधी थोडी माहिती देणार आहे अर्थात मी काही पॉईंट देतोय त्याच्या आधारे तुम्ही पुस्तकात न ते डिटेल वाचून अभ्यास करायचा आहे शक्यतो मी जास्तीत जास्त पॉईंट देण्याचा प्रयत्न करतो आहे सी आवर सराउंडिंग इज फुल ऑफ साऊंड वी आर फेमिलियर विथ द एक्झाम्पल्स ऑफ साऊंड ऍज ह्युमन स्पीच द सिंगिंग ऑफ बर्ड्स साऊंड ऑफ सायक्लॉन साऊंड ऑफ सी वेव्ह एक्सेट्रा डायलॉग्स अँड साँग्स इन अ मुव्ही एक्सेट्रा ह्युमन लाईफ बिकम्स मिनिंगफुल ड्यू टू द एक्झिस्टन्स ऑफ साऊंड ऑन अर्थ सो वी आर क्युरियस अबाउट वॉट इज साऊंड वॉट इज इट्स नेचर वॉट इज इट्स सोर्स इट इज नेसेसरी टू अंडरस्टँड सम प्रिलिमिनरी टर्म्स बिफोर गोईंग टू साऊंड पिरियॉडिक मोशन द मोशन विच रिपीट इट सेल्फ आफ्टर अ रेग्युलर इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम इज कॉल्ड पिरियॉडिक मोशन द रेग्युलर टाइम इंटरवल इज कॉल्ड द टाइम पिरियड ऑफ periodic motion see this these are the examples of periodic motion swinging of the bob of a simple pendulum now second is motion of the hands of a clock that you must have observed in your clock next is stadium waves let us see these stadium waves see this very interesting picture of the stadium waves now examples of period of periodic motion now this moon revolves around the earth period of motion of moon around the earth is 27.3 days now see this uh, earth revolves around the sun period of motion of earth around sun is 1 year next is oscillatory motion if a body in periodic motion moves along the same path to and fro about a definite point then the motion of the body is vibratory motion or oscillatory motion see these examples pendulum swinging back and forth next is a mass vibrating at the end of spring these are the examples of oscillatory motion then motion of the prong of a tuning fork and next is vibrating guitar string now something more about this a remark all objects that vibrate have one thing common each object is subjected to a restoring force that increases with increasing displacement now restoring force is one that tries to pull a displaced object back to its equilibrium position oscillatory motions are periodic but all periodic motions are not oscillatory for example motion of earth around sun is periodic but not oscillatory next is the displacement of a particle performing a periodic motion can be expressed in terms of sin and cosine function sin and cosine are trigonometric functions known as harmonic function therefore periodic motion is called as harmonic motion manje kanal chi aikala changli vate manun tela harmonic tyacha asun nirman hoya sound jo hai tela harmonic sound asa manlele hai now सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन इन शॉर्ट एस एच एम लेट वन एंड ऑफ एन इलास्टिक स्प्रिंग बी फिक्स टू अजिड सपोर्ट एंड इट्स अदर एंड कनेक्टेड टू अ ब्लॉक विच रेस ऑन अ स्मूथ हॉरिजॉन्टल सर्फेस वाय स्मूथ हॉरिजॉन सर्फेस टू मेक द रेजिस्टन्स लिस्ट दट इज द लिस्ट रेजिस्टन्स मीन्स द एप्लाइड फोर्स और एप्लाइड एनर्जी कैनॉट बी युटिलाइज टू ओवरकम द रेजिस्टन्स and total energy we can apply for this is utilized for the displacement of the block now this is the initial position this is unstretched position of the spring now suppose that an external force is applied to the block 
and it is moved to the right through a distance six. Now spring is elastic. It means what is the main property of elasticity? When we apply force on this and we stretch the spring, there is a restoring force occurs in the spring which tries to restore its original position. So the existence of restoring force which opposes the external force is the main property of elasticity. On account of the elastic properties of the spring, an internal restoring force is created which opposes the external force. Its magnitude increases with the displacement from mean position. The body momentarily stops when both forces become equal. So restoring force is opposite to the displacement and proportional to magnitude of displacement. So F is proportional to X means in equality F is equal to minus KX. This negative sign indicates that force and the displacement X they are in the opposite direction. And this constant K is a proportionality constant known as a force constant of the spring. That constant depends upon the material and elastic property of the spring. Now third is when external applied force is removed, then there is only restoring force is unbalanced force and that pulls the body towards the mean position. But at mean position due to the inertial property, you know that inertia means to maintain the state or to oppose the change. Now this due to this property inertia, a uh, block moves towards left because only restoring force is unbalanced force. Now again, when the spring is compressed, the restoring force opposes the compression and that acts in the right hand side direction. And again, when both forces become equal, there is equilibrium position and then block again moves towards mean position and then right and then from right to mean position, from mean position to left and etc. So this oscillates about mean position. On account of inertia, it will continue to move to the left and compresses the spring. Now, restoring force tries to oppose compression, directs towards mean position. Therefore, the velocity decreases and becomes zero. Now, let us see the definition of simple harmonic motion. This process continues and block moves to and fro. This motion is known as simple harmonic motion. Now, definition is a linear periodic motion in which the force acting on the body or acceleration of a body because force is equal to ma and mass constant therefore uh, acceleration of a body is always directed towards a fixed point and is proportional to the displacement of the body from that point is known as simple harmonic motion uh, denoted by shm now see one more example of shm later can we be moving with uniform speed in a circle on the top of a table if we observe that motion of candle from the level of the table this way, then this candle moves along the circle, but we get that this moves along the diameter. Candle appears to move along diameter, AB of the circle. Its velocity will appear to become zero at the extremities of the diameter and maximum at the center that is at mean position. Candle will appear to perform SHM along the diameter AB of the circle. Let us see one more example of this. See that the object, this moves from D to A, D to A, then A to E, then E to B and B to D. When this object moves from D to A, this from Q to O, then from A to E means O to C, and then along CO and OQ means to and fro. Now this is this is the projection of this point P along line. So when point moves along the circle in uniform motion, its projection forms simple harmonic motion along the straight line. There are various types of waves in nature, like sound waves, light waves, waves on the surface of water. Now see the types of motion mechanical waves, types of waves, mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. Now again mechanical waves are classified into two, transverse and longitudinal. See mechanical waves means what? 
number one, these waves are created by vibrating body. Number two, the energy propagates through a material medium. It causes the particle of the medium to vibrate. And then two types, transverse and longitudinal. The particles of the medium vibrate at right angles to the direction of propagation of the wave. And here the particles of the medium vibrate in the same line of the direction of propagation of waves. Now, electro electromagnetic waves. These are created by two fields, electric and magnetic. The mode of propagation of electromagnetic waves is always transverse. The two fields are mutually perpendicular to each other and to the direction of propagation of the waves. Next now, these are the examples of longitudinal waves. See, the compressions and rarefactions are formed in this. See this, these are the compressions and in between that, rarefactions. See this here, these are the compressions are traveling ahead and in between that, they are rarefactions. Now this is the graph of this. Now see, where there is compression, there is a crest. And where there is a rarefaction, there is a trough. Crest means upper one, this is the trough. Here again, the same graph, see that, the C means compression, R means rarefaction. Now see examples of transfer waves. See how transfer waves are formed. Let us see this example. See how transverse wave is formed in this. See one more example. Definition of wave motion. A form of disturbance which travels through a material medium due to the repeated periodic motion of the particle of the medium about their mean position, the disturbance being handed over from one particle to the next. Now conditions of wave motion. There must be a restoring force which tends to bring the body to its original position, that is elasticity of the medium. This is required from to right hand side to mean position, mean position to left hand side means for to and fro motion. The medium must have inertia due to which the body moves beyond mean position. And the friction must not be too large, means friction must be minimum. Now characteristics of wave motion. When a wave travels through a medium, the particles of the medium perform SHM about their mean position. But there is no bulk motion of the medium. Energy is carried from one place to another through medium. A series of examples. Now see this. Uh, in this example, we understand that every particle goes to maximum, comes down, and again, second one goes to maximum and comes down. So when we supply energy to this particle, then after that, sometimes this second one starts vibration, then after some time, this third particle starts vibration. Everyone goes to maximum and comes to minimum position. But this is wave pattern. So wave pattern travel from one position to another. But particles, they are there only vibrate about their mean position. There is no migration of particle from one place to another. See this example. This is Powell's wave machine. This gives us the clear idea that every particle starts vibrating one after another and that reaches maximum again comes to mean position. So this is a wave pattern. So vibrations, wave pattern goes on this side and vibrations are this side. So vibrations of particle are perpendicular 
to the direction of wave motion the moment of each particle begins a li little later than that of predecessors all the particles oscillate with the same period and they have same amplitude the velocity of the wave motion is quite different from the velocity of the particles in the given medium under given conditions the wave travels with constant speed the velocity of particle is different at different positions and zero at extreme positions the velocity of the wave is constant but the velocity of the particles changes as they move from mean position to the extreme positions two waves can be reflected and refracted when a wave passes from one medium to another medium the wave speed and wave length changes but the frequency remains constant because it is determined by the source that is by the vibrator now see these figures wave motion is periodic in space means this a b and c they start vibrating in the downward direction this direction is given here so they are now this point if you consider this point this object starts vibrating in the upward direction so they are in opposite direction means they are not in phase but a b c they are equidistant from each other and also they start vibrating in the downward direction means they are in the same phase and so the distance between these two consecutive points is known as wave length that is lambda so this distance constant this distance is also constant and therefore wave motion is periodic in space now consider time now period is denoted by capital d and the various positions they are denoted by small t that is the instance now this is the period means between these two consecutive points which are in same phase the period between these is known as period of motion that is denoted by capital t now again between b and c the period is constant therefore the wave motion is periodic in space as well as in time now some definitions to wave motion phase the phase of a vibrating particle at particular instant is defined as its state of motion from mean position at that instant now in previous example of spring the from mean position when object moves on the right hand side then at a particular position we get the distance between the mean position and the direction on the right side that gives us the the description of this gives us the phase of that point now the particle having the same displacement from their mean position and moving in the same direction are said to be in the same phase otherwise they are out of phase now amplitude the maximum displacement of the particle from its mean position is called amplitude that is from mean position from either side either on right side or on left side that is the amplitude wave length the distance between two successive particles in the same phase that is in the same state of vibration is called as wave length wave length is the distance between two successive crest or troughs and in longitudinal waves that is between the two compressions or in two rarefactions wave length is the distance traveled by the wave in one complete period of oscillation of the particle time period the time taken by vibrating particle to complete one vibration is called the time period frequency the number of vibrations executed by particle in one second is called a frequency now wave velocity it is the distance traveled by the wave in one second now in t period wave length lambda distance traveled is lambda so the velocity is equal to lambda upon t but 1 upon t is frequency therefore formula becomes v is equal to n lambda let us try to understand understand this definition with the help of these diagrams now we'll keep amplitude and frequency constant and we'll change the wave length c c here change in wave length now let us keep wave length constant and we'll change the amplitude now see the change in the amplitude 
Now keeping amplitude and wavelength constant, consider change in frequency. So out of these three quantities, two can be kept constant and we can observe the change in the third one. Now comparison of longitudinal and transverse waves. This is just a revision. Longitudinal and transverse. In longitudinal waves, directions of oscillation of the particles of the medium are parallel and anti-parallel to the direction of propagation of wave. In case of transverse waves, similar point, directions of oscillation of the particle of the medium are perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. Second one is, consists of alternate compressions and rarefactions. So there is a change in the pressure and density also. Now here consists of alternate crest and trough. Now third point is medium requires elasticity of volume because there is a change in the volume in compressions and rarefaction. Medium requires elasticity of shape. Now these waves can pass through solids, liquids and gases. These waves cannot pass through liquids and gases. They are possible only in solid. Remember these points in the comparison. Now next points are changes in pressure and density of the medium takes place due to wave propagation. And in transverse wave, there are no changes in pressure and density of the medium. Now in longitudinal wave, when reflected from a denser medium, a compression reflected as compression. Here when reflected from a denser medium, a crest is reflected as trough. Now last is examples. Sound waves in air, sound waves inside water. Here in transverse waves, waves forms on the surface of water, vibrations of strings. The unit of frequency, cycles per second or hertz. Hertz is the name of German physicist who first detected radio waves. Now audible waves. Audible waves are sound waves that human ear can hear. Audible range of human ear is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. 1 kilo means 1000 hertz. Now infrasonic frequency that is less than 20 hertz. That is earthquake waves and etc. Underground nuclear explosions also. Now ultrasonic frequency about 20 kilohertz. Sound is the one of the form of energy. Therefore, it has capacity to do mechanical work. It is interconvertible in other forms of energy. Now see the examples of this. Doctor records the sound of heart beats of a man with stethoscope. The beating of heart vibrates diaphragms of stethoscope. Means sound can perform work on the diaphragm. Now microphone is used to address public meeting. The sound of a person vibrates the diaphragm of microphone. The vibrations of diaphragm are converted into electrical vibrations. Means sound energy is converted into electrical energy. The electrical vibrations are again converted into sound energy. Means electrical energy is again converted into sound energy. Therefore, sound is capable of doing some work. And also it can be converted in other forms of energy. And therefore, we can say that sound is a form of energy. Now see different sources of sound. Sound is produced due to vibrations set up in a body. For example, ringing bell or tuning fork. When vibrations of these bodies stop, their sound also stops. Hence, all the vibrating bodies are the source of sound. Now see this one example. Uh, compressions and rarefactions are produced. Examples. String instruments. These are, we know this, violin, sarangi, tambora, vocal cord. Then in these instruments, vibrations are set up in the stretched strings. Now, wind instruments, flute and that bigul, etc. In the instruments, variations are set up in air columns. Now, diaphragm instruments, that is tabla, drums, dolls, etc. Now, see again two more terms, pitch and frequency. The various bodies producing sound can be divided into two groups. Musical sound. Manje aplala aikala kanala ku gor lakto. Upon Nilna Brakaji Gani ekto, per tiji gani asad, ti apla kanala gor vakna diasad, on talama it's a musical sound. It is pleasant, continuous, and uniform 
produced by regular and periodic vibrations see these continuous formation and for example sound produced by for flute piano etc now see these examples noise it is unpleasant discontinuous and non uniform sound produced by irregular successions of disturbances sensation on the ear is unpleasant all sound other than musical notes are noises for example falling bricks clapping of two wooden blocks thunder roar explosion of gun powders the distinction between a musical sound and noise is subjective see these graphs of musical sound and noise now this is regular continuous and see how they are changes these are the changes are not continuous there are three fundamental characteristics of musical sound one is pitch then loudness and third is quality pitch pitch of a sound depends upon frequency or wavelength if frequency of a sound high pitch is high sound shrills voice of children and ladies is shrill voice of old man is hoarse manje gogra ata ithe parat mi tumhala don awaz aikhoto hai is produced by mosquito is shrill etc the sharpness of musical note depends on its pitch when the two notes have same frequency they said to be in unison now loudness see this this sound and amplitude loudness of sound is the magnitude of the auditory sensation the difference in loudness is due to difference in the amplitude of vibration in the two waves intensity intensity of sound is the time rate at which the sound energy flows through a unit area now this intensity is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude quality or timbres the quality or timbres the quality of a note depends on the wave form the wave produced by different instruments differ in their form it depends on the proportions of the harmonics present in the basic note harmonics of sound are the multiples of the basic notes factors affecting the velocity of sound in a gas density speed of sound in a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of the density of the gas second one is temperature velocity of sound in a gas is directly proportional to the square root of its absolute temperature absolute temperature means 273 plus degree celsius third factor is pressure velocity of sound is independent of the pressure of the gas provided temperature remains constant now p because pressure changes density humidity density of water vapor is less than that of dry air the presence of moisture tends to decrease the velocity of the atmosphere therefore velocity of sound in moist air is greater than in dry air see its effect therefore sirens and whistles of trains hold up to longer distance in the rainy season as compared in summer frequency no effect sound waves of different frequencies travel with the same speed in air although their wavelengths in air are different now echo pratidwari apan pahile hai ki डोंगरावरती कुठे जरी गेलो आपण आणि जर आरडाओरडा केला तर आपल्याला तेच तेच ध्वनी परत ऐकू येतात त्याचं कारण असं आहे की आपल्या कानावरती एकदा येऊन ध्वनी आदळला की त्याचा परिणाम एक दशांश सेकंद आपल्या कानावरती राहतो आणि मग त्याच वेळेस जर दुसरा ध्वनी आला तर आपल्याला ध्वनी मधला फरक कळू शकत नाही पण त्याच्यानंतर जर तोच परत ऐकू आला तर आपल्याला त्याला परत कळतो आणि मग आपल्याला तोच तोच आवाज परत परत ऐकू आल्याचा भास होतो आणि त्यालाच प्रतिध्वनी म्हणजे ऐको असं म्हणतात 
Sound waves are reflected from surfaces such as walls, mountains, cliffs, clouds, etc. The ear is able to distinguish two sounds as separate sounds only if the two sound signals reach the ear at least one ten second apart. Otherwise, they mix up and they cannot be listened properly. If a sound is reflected back to the listener after one ten second or more, he hears it as a repetition of the original sound. This repetition of sound is called echo. For a clear echo to be produced, conditions are number one: there must be a smooth, rigid, and dense medium to reflect the sound. Second is the distance between the source of sound, which is also the listener, and the reflecting rigid surface should be more than 17 meters. See why? Velocity velocity of sound in air about 340 meter per second. Now distance travelled in one ten second is equal to 340 into one upon ten. That is 34 meter. So to and fro 34 meter means the distance between the reflector and the source or listener should be 17 meter or greater than that. Multiple echoes. Multiple echoes are produced when there are several surfaces, reflecting surfaces. For example, uh, a rumbling of thunder, and then reverberation. When sound waves are incident after reflections within one tenth of a second, original sound persists. This is known as reverberation. Now, use of echo. Bats, dolphin use echo to fly in without colliding with the object. Or with one another to find velocity of sound in air, and the last one is to measure the depth of sea water. This system is known as sonar, sound navigation and ranging. Let us see this very interesting uh, figure that compares the velocity of sound in air, water, and steel. Now this hammer produces sound. See the difference. We will consider one more example. See the difference. In steel, it moves faster than in water, and then last in air. Let us see one more example. Means velocity of sound in different medium is different. See the difference. This gives us the timing also. Also. Now this is a table which gives us the speed of sound in various materials, that is, in various mediums. Now the English to Marathi words are given for students in Marathi medium. You study these and you can translate this total material in Marathi.